love these girls. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. Byron, you only harbor ill will toward Peyton and Billy because you can't sit with them in catering. Uh, absolutely not. I harbor ill will towards them because I've never seen two ladies who derive so much joy from gossiping and tossing shade at anyone they choose. Well, Peyton and Billy simply enjoy one another's company and spreading the good word around the locker room. Like, I might not be a huge fan of their personalities, but they do have an incredible story. Started out together in Sydney, Australia, came to WWE, signed their contracts at the same time, and now here they are, ready to compete on the big stage. You must have read about that on the internet, Saxton, because I know Peyton and Billy don't talk to you. Look at this, the Iconics shining bright on opponent. pay per view. Mandy Rose. Stunning. And Sonya Deville. And controversial. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And here we go, folks, Man. as we get this tag team match started. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every Ouch. week. Split leg, leg drop. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And she got her with a clothesline. Punches her. Tag. This precision teamwork. Toll pulled on the elbow on the of the neck. Doesn't get much better than that. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when Peyton Royce walks out wearing that iconic t-shirt, you can hear an audible groan from the crowd. I haven't noticed, but I'm sure they're just jealous, Cole. The fact of the matter is, when you look and perform like Peyton Royce does, you should absolutely have a high opinion of yourself. When it comes to Peyton Royce's opinion of herself, I partially agree with Corey. Yes, she should have self-confidence, but to call herself iconic? I don't know. Well, that seems like a word that should be reserved for the likes of, I don't know, Trish Stratus and Mae Young. Who are you to decide who's an icon and who's not, Saxton? If Peyton Royce wants to call herself iconic, that's exactly what she should do. Period. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Look at this. Slam down with authority. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful continuity between tag team partners is crucial when a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part and that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match when you look at the tag teams who've dominated this business all 
of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Absolutely has to get back in the ring. There's no way around it. I think we're going to get the tag. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. In off the tag. She's absorbing some offense here. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Go oh, elbow! She's starting to sweat a bit. But she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. But it's still early here, guys. It's going to take a whole heck of a lot more than this to keep her down. Born in Australia, Peyton Royce's path to WWE saw her travel many miles, including a stop in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where, like many before her, Peyton honed her craft before ultimately joining WWE. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Corey Byron did allude to Peyton Royce's training in Canada. Yeah, she's a product of your best friend Lance Storm, and that's one of the reasons why Peyton is so good in the ring. I'm just glad Storm's personality didn't rub off on her during training. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. That's what she needed. Down. Russian leg sweep. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE, there is no coming back from that one. She got her with a reversal. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. Tagged in. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Back in from the floor. We might just see it here. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Big reversal for her there. Look at Sonya Deville. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. There it is. Oh, man, Peyton Royce is in trouble. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the fisherman suplex. She's got it now. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. Two. Face buster. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Uh-uh. Right to the face. Mandy Rose's toughness getting tested here. Guys, there's a chance she won't be able to recover from this. She's got nothing left, guys. If she doesn't make a tag soon, this match is over. It's that simple. Yeah, she's in a very bad spot here. I don't know how much more of this she can take. Get in there, ref. Something big is coming. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. She's in control. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. That's how you put it. Can she keep her down? The pin's broken up. Instinct. That's the only thing keeping these teams standing at this point. We're looking at complete domination here. There! That was vicious.
Look at Sonya Deville. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. This one is over. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it didn't look any less brutal the second time around. A win like that says a lot about a duo. That match deserves another look, folks. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the Here unbelievable are your winners, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Absolution. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. Well, when you put women like these together, what do you expect to happen? I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.